brand new show that came out two weeks ago, a week ago. I think a week ago. Um, it's a kind of a spinoff, I guess. It, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what they. I mean, I don't know what they call it because nothing's really spinning off from the original. You know, it's the same concept. I, I think that's the only thing I. I had a, a problem with the beginning. I was like, so you really didn't spend any time developing what what's the point of doing this at all? Just, ah, let me just tell you about how I met your father today. Start the show. <laughs> it was just, all right, yeah. okay. I'm not having a bad day, yeah. Mom. Why are we going over this right now? Does it make any sense? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that whole thing, yeah. I mean, they've done it from the, the, the first show with the voice of Bob Saget, which is you know, it was like kind of, kind of awesome. Which I, they never explained why Ted was Bob Saget until the, and, and then once they show him, he's not Bob. He's not the voice of Bob Saget. It was like should kept Bob Saget at that point. <laughs> you know, um, but yeah. So how I met your father? It's out on Hulu. The first three episodes are out right now, um, and we're gonna talk about all three of the first three, or all three of them. Um, but yeah, man. Um, it's it's basically the same concept just everything's new you know see what i loved about how i met your mother it was the the relationships the relationships had been there for such a long time and really the only one mm-hmm. that was brand new was robin you know and, and throwing her in there how it how it changed everyone's dynamic because robin was thrown in there you know mm-hmm. but ed was already there i mean everyone was already there this is a little bit different you know, so you have Hillary Duff and her friend and the random British guy. And then you have the other triangle on the other side, you know, two guys and his sister. You know, so mm-hmm. but it's like you, you combine these two triangles and they're combining it so quickly without developing how, why, why they're developing, why they're really coming together, be, becoming friends. I don't know how much yeah. that made sense, but. I like the care. I like each individual character. I really do like. I just don't think they really spent much time figuring out how we're going to bring these people together. Yeah, yeah. And I, 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 I mean, you can fix that throughout the first season. So I'm not too upset about that, you know. Um, but it it, it seems very random. Can you imagine? Like, can you imagine hanging out? with your uber driver every day <laughs> like like that's how the how that's how it all starts you know I, yeah that, that's kind of crazy for me these, supposed to have these friends type of relationships and it's nothing like that you know like because even in friends you know monica and 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 what you call it the, the, you got brother sister you got best friends you have you have connections that throughout high school for eight years before we knew these characters, we already had these connections. And mm-hmm. you know, the main triangle, the main people are the main people. That's not what's happening here. And it's so weird. But yeah, I enjoy each of these characters, except it's just so hard looking at Hillary Duff and not, I'm just waiting for a little animated girl to be walking up and kind of break the third wall and start talking about mm-hmm. what's going on on that actual show. Like, that's why I was. I see her. It just it distracts me. I think we were talking yeah. about that offline. It's just she's she's Hillary Duff. She's too big mm-hmm. in, in a show like this to really be able to fall into the show. Yeah. I usually I like weekly releases. Now, um, one we get to talk about an episode at a time rather than a whole season, um, and we don't have to spend like a, a week or two watching all the entire season. But I feel by the end of the season, it will it'll start to fade away a little bit. Like I'll start seeing her as Sophie and not as Hillary Duff. You know, really? like she's she's not her she's not her character yet because she's her. You know, and and that was like a, a very uh yeah like it it doesn't ruin the show in any means. It's just like you said, a little distracting, a little distracting. You know, um, but but we we compared it to Neil Patrick Harris. Mm-hmm. You know, he was the biggest star. Doogie Hauser was the biggest show, like of all time. And then <laughs> seeing him, it helps that he is his character is so different from the 
the show or from his actual life. That helps. But I, I feel like yeah. Hillary Duff yeah. is just like Hillary Duff. You know, like, yeah. I don't know. It's, uh, it'd be interesting to see what happens. If I can, if I could see her as more than that. Because she's just, I've seen her grow up. And mm-hmm. I've watched all of her shows, you know, so yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. She was a Disney, she was a Disney, a Disney, a Disney actor. Yep. You know, so it, it's weird seeing. It's always weird seeing. I think Disney kids do something else. You know, and it, it takes a while. You know, like Selena Gomez is always gonna be like a Disney, you know, kid. You know, yeah. I mean, Grant, she's like twenty, what, almost thirty now, or maybe I don't, I don't even know how old she is, but she's always gonna be a Disney kid. You know, so see, which me brings me to another Lizzie McGuire. I see Lizzie McGuire. That's just what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, which brings me to a, like a, one of the other issues I had with this one was in the third episode, you meet uh, a new character, you know, a potential father, um, and it's the Drake Josh guy, one, you know, the one that's not canceled, I guess, you know, even though he should be because <laughs> I am not a fan of him, yeah. like. I'm not a fan of him at all, and it, it really kind of upset me. I'm like, oh, really? Why are you in the damn show, dude? Like. Go back with your YouTube asshole guy that you hang out with. I think who's he hang out with on, on YouTube? Oh, um, I, I'm having a brain fart. Um, but yeah, he he hung out with with uh with this not a good guy on on YouTube. You know, um, oh, why am I? He's uh, he's got canceled like hardcore for for a lot of bad stuff. Um, and he hung out with him, and, and I don't I don't think he's a good actor. Like I didn't like him in the episode at all. No, I didn't like. I don't. I didn't like. I don't like him a lot overall. Uh, I don't know. And I I think that's another other thing. You shit really care about all these characters, like the ones that could be the father. Then you should enjoy. You want to know more about them. The other thing is seeing her and not seeing the kid disconnects you from the kid caring about who the father is. And I hope they address yeah. that. Yeah. I I think it's going to be a reverse <laughs> kind of thing where the last one is like you didn't see Ted the entire time, mm-hmm. you know, until the very end. Yeah, I think this one's going to be that kind of same thing where you don't see who the kid is because I think the kid is going to well, have a well, connection to well, the old well, group. Well, imagine if the kid is black, we know who it is. <laughs> like, you know, you know <laughs> like, oh, well, that tells you a lot right there. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I was like, yeah, if you show him and it's like, you know, if he's black or if he you know, has a lot of pretty dark skin, that kind of or dark hair, you pretty much know who the dad is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's very true. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. That's kind of funny. Um, but. Yeah, so jo- Josh Peck, that's that's who it is. I am not a fan of him. He hung out with David Dobrik from YouTube, um, and I, I really don't like David Dobrik. Um, and they hung out a lot. So, um, but but yeah, it's it's I, I don't I, again when I see him, I think of Nickelodeon like yeah, you know, yeah. Team Nick kind of stuff, and I was like, I'm like you know. I'm already trying to dissociate that idea with Lizzie McGuire having mm-hmm. Hillary up there. And then you bring another one, you know? Yeah. Sweet life with Josh. You know, if, why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. So, I don't know. Hopefully he's gone soon. Hope, yeah, hopefully he's out of the picture, you know, pretty quickly. Yeah. He's going to be, well, then, like, my girlfriend even said it, like, oh, Ted also dated a lot of, uh, you know, uh, other celebrities, you know, um, uh, what's her name that was on Roseanne? I can that was the, yeah. the dermatologist, I think, yeah. in How I Met Your Mother. You know, you know, Britney Spears, <laughs> you know, Kyle, well, not really he dated, did, right? Good of, call, but, yeah. you know, Britney Spears was in it. So I'm like, oh, yeah, there's a lot of other like famous people that were, you know, um, that were in it, you know, that didn't stick around. So obviously. So I'm like, yeah, I guess, but I just don't want to see him for a whole season, you know. But 
Okay. It's just okay. I don't yeah. see any sparks with any of them right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the other thing. There, there's nothing besides the well, one guy was it e, Ari Ari. What, what was his name? Uh, Ian yeah, yeah, from the first. Episode. Yeah, he's the one who went to Australia. Yeah, Ian. Yeah. He, yeah. So besides Ian, who do you see any sparks with? I, I think they're trying to set up like Sophie and Jesse, you know, who's the 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 guy who's very jaded, you know, who got <laughs> dumped on the internet kind of thing. I think they're trying to have them do be a thing, but, but I, I don't, I'm just not feeling it. Like the good comp, this connection's not there. I don't yeah. see it. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I think my I didn't catch it. I got to go back and and look at it. Um, but I think this episode or episode three was written by Dan Levy. Really? Um, yeah. So I got to um, look into that. Um, but as she saw it, she goes, uh, she goes, is that Dan Levy wrote it? I was like, oh. I mean, uh, Dan Levy did Shit's Creek, and I mean, that, that just it was an epic show. Um, I, I'm really worried yeah, it about it. was written, written by Dan Levy. I am more I'm looking at this more. I'm worried about Hillary Duff being too big. Just you know. Yeah. Because all the other actresses and actors, like I've seen them in other things, but, but small the, things. Yeah. Yeah. She wasn't a they weren't childhood icons, <laughs> you know, like exactly. You know. It's so big. Because as you said, we said, um, if you're not the main, if you're the main character to be a ch- childhood icon, it's hard. It's just really hard. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess you could say that about how I met your mother too, because uh, Lily was big at that point. She was in uh, um, from Buffy the Bear, uh, American Pie. Buffy. Yeah. She was in Buffy, American Pie. So she was in a lot of things, but she was never. The main, not the main character, you know, yeah. <coughs> so, I mean, that's, you know, that's, and then I mean, Jason Siegel yeah. was, got really big for a while, you know, but he got big kind of during the show. So, I mean, it was fine because you can see him as different characters because he was already there, you know. Mm-hmm. It's just, it was, it was no one that's really that big. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, like uh, uh, Neil Patrick Harris, but also he was he's he he was so far from being Doogie Hauser, and and the and then he was Doogie Hauser, and then he was gone for years, and he comes back in, uh, um, in uh, Harold and Kumar, and he mm-hmm. kind of was Barney, yeah. you know, and I think I don't know if that's the reason why they they got him because they're like, oh, that's exactly what we're looking for, which yeah, it was, was awesome, also- but. Is his personality too it was opposite yeah. of that, so that also helps with believing the show. Yeah, and he doesn't. Yeah. I mean, all of them were pretty big in their own. I mean, Robin. When was the last time you saw what's her name? Was it Kobe? What's the last time you saw her in either? Yeah, like, I mean, that's what I'm saying. She's like, uh Marvel, Maria, Maria. Hill. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, that's the but that even then, you're not the star. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, and then that was also after How I Met Your Mother, or right towards the end of it, I think. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just I, I still see Hillary Duff, and I don't see Sophie. Everyone else, and I keep forgetting her name. You know, like I'm like, yeah, uh, Jesse, Valentina, Charlie, uh, Sid. Like I, I remember those people, but and then it's Hillary Duff. You know, and it's gonna be a little while before. That that gets disassociated with her, but that and that's what a lot of places, a lot of movie places, companies don't like to have it that big of a star because it it takes such a long time for you to forget who that person is. It's like if you yeah. you bring in Harry Potter, he's always Harry Potter. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, yeah. that's just who you are. Daniel, right? Daniel, Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe is a great actor. I like watching the little the little small shows on TBS. But he's always Harry Potter. It doesn't matter what what you put him in. It doesn't matter if you have it with Steve Buscemi. It doesn't matter because he's still Harry Potter. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and 
when you have characters like that, that you know, that, why it never worked for Zach Morris? Because he's yeah. always Zach Morris. You can change your yeah. hair, you're still the same guy. That character mm-hmm. lives on. It's hard to, to pass that up. And I feel like Hillary Duff might be that same thing, especially for yeah. you know, age the age bracket they're looking for. You're Lizzie yeah. McGuire. That's just what you are. <laughs> yeah, I I think if they they push some of the side characters a little bit more maybe you'll start to see like the whole because that's what they did in how i met your mother is is everyone had their own thing like ted was telling the story but you know lily and and marshall had their thing barney had their thing robin even had their thing um but like you you even said it's it's they connected differently you know like they were friends in since college and then barney was just you know the guy at the bar that wouldn't stop hanging out with them so like he just was there he was the guy that was just there and then wait for it yeah oh (laughs) did you freeze (laughs) i I think your video (laughs) froze when you did it (laughs) that was perfect that was perfect oh my god but you know but even like what you said with robin was like she was the new person and it made sense why she became part of the group because Lily was like, no, you're the only other female that we, we've ever talked to. So you need to be part of this group for me. Yep. So it was kind of like Lee. And also Lily is the worst, you know, like, she's the worst. She's the worst. <laughs> like you, have a character that that, so, you hate her so much that you had to have someone else. There. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also God. it was like, not right away. Cause the first few times we watched it, we watched this. We watched How I Met Your Mother like from start to end a good like five, six times, like all seasons. Like, you know, so by the end, you're like, oh, Lily is the worst. Like, how is she with Mar- Marshall? Because he's the best. <laughs> you know, and <laughs> Lily is the worst. She's like, so manipulating and stuff like that. But they don't, I was hoping, like, oh, she's the Barney or he's the Barney in this new one. And this is the Lily and this is the 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 Marshall relationship of it. And we really and don't have that, that yet. Nope. You don't have any. I mean, I guess Valentina and yeah. you, you don't even know how long Valentina and uh, Sophie have known each other. I really don't know. Yeah, they don't. I think they might have said it in the first episode, but I, I didn't really catch it. Okay. You know, where Ted and Marshall you knew since college, and they said the story a bazillion times throughout the nine seasons. You know, I don't know he's from Wisconsin, and you know Marshall's he's just so nice. He's the nicest guy ever. And we just yeah. we know that story. It made sense because you know they had that relationship for a long time. It didn't take yeah. the seasons of the episode for us to know it. We knew that from the beginning that these guys are yeah. you know we had this connection. We don't have a connection with any of them yet. So I think that that's something they might miss, and hopefully they fix it. You know, because right yeah. now we got Ellen, Ellen, Charlie, and Jesse. Right? No, not Charlie. Ellen, um, Jesse, and uh, Sid. Right. Mm-hmm. Once again, we don't know how long Jesse and Sid have known each other. We know Jesse and Ellen are somehow brothers and sisters. But they're uh, adopted. Yeah. I think she's adopted. Yeah. They said she's adopted. But that's all we know as far as you know their their life. They haven't developed any of those things, and I don't know if they're gonna have the opportunity because we're gonna watch these ten episodes and um, we're gonna be judged. And right now. It's already at five point one out of ten. Is it? Yeah. I'm what on well, yeah, I didn't even look. How is it on Ron Tomatoes? So IMDB is five point one out of ten right now. See, I I wouldn't give it that low. I wouldn't give it that. That's pretty low. I think it's a um, solid seven right now with opportunity to do more. Yeah, I think they they need a f- the first season is always a little tricky with with a lot of shows is you need to find your footing. You know what I mean? I mean like a show like like Peacemaker and Boba Fett and Mando is it, that's a little different with these multi cam kind of you know shows like this, um, mm-hmm. like these sitcoms. Like you might need you know because like if you remember like Parks and Rec, that wasn't oh, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, the first season wasn't that great. Um, it was in the, the office. Great. It was bad. 
<laughs> was, I wouldn't say yeah. it was bad. The Office season one, I thought was bad. Well, The Office was coming off of something else, though. Like we already knew that. Yeah. It could work yeah. If you give it some time, you saw what it did in Great Britain. You knew it. If you give it a little time, you can get through this. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I thought The Office season one was not good. It wasn't funny. It was cringy. It was hard to watch. And it was bad. And I, and and Parks and Rec was kind of starting to be the same thing. But by the end of the season, they figured it out. It didn't. The office didn't figure out what it was in America until mid season two. You know, yeah. so. Yeah. You know, to rate how I met your father, like after three episodes um, is a five out of ten is like, yeah, it's still it's still figuring its stuff out. It still needs to figure out, like, how much like the original does it want to be? You know what I mean? Are you going for something that's totally different or are you going for something that piggybacks off the success of that? And yeah. how how long can you have a, how many episodes can you have with that? You know, if you follow exactly the same type of storyline, you know, it's hard to answer. Yeah, I'm looking at screen rent right now and it's a 2.5 out of 5. Well, about, yeah, so about the same half yeah. right, in, right in the middle. I mean, on on Rotten Tomatoes, it's the the tomato meter has it at thirty one, which is the critics and the audience. The audience has it at a sixty eight. So the sixty eight it makes a little bit more sense because that's about a little bit above average, make right in the middle. But thirty one by the critics, I was like, oh boy, that's that's super low. That's super low. I wouldn't. I wouldn't give it. I would give it a solid like. This one's a later. Like if I gotta say it's not a now. This is a later. This is a, it's a later. Yeah. yeah, it's a later. I'm okay. going to enjoy watching because for what it is, I because I enjoy these type of shows. <laughs> but for what it is, you know, I'm going to enjoy it, and I know what's going to happen. And I like the characters. I I I, I like Hillary Duff. I just I see Hillary Duff. I don't see Sophie. But I mean, yeah. doesn't mean I hate it. I if it was. I mean, it's just a later. It's it's a it's a good show if you got time and you, everyone has. Like, I don't have cable. I have streaming. I stream everything. Mm-hmm. So if you're, you know, up at ten o'clock at night and you don't have anything else to watch, <laughs> put it on. You're gonna enjoy the, the three episodes. It's gonna be something like, oh, okay. So yeah. that's good yeah. to watch. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying it's not on level of Friends, and it's not as bad as I don't know the Village. You know, it's somewhere in between. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of a bad sitcom. I, I'm like one doesn't really pop in, into my head, but it's not bad. I don't think it's bad. 31 is is really bad. 2.5 out of five is is still a little, you know. Five out of ten is I you know that's about both are in the middle. It's like a little bit above the middle, you know. Like you know, Sophie, which is Hillary Duff, she's the Ted of the group. You know, she's obviously telling the story or future her um, is telling the story, which is also played by. Um, Kim Cattrall, which is awesome, yeah, you know, which is future awesome. Hillary Duff, you know, which is really cool, yeah, you know. But I think besides her being Ted or the version of Ted, um, who's like hopelessly romantic in love kind of person, um, they need to figure out is like, all right, are we gonna have a Barney? Are we gonna have a, a Marshall? Or are we just gonna redo it all? You know, because. You need to focus on them a little bit more and get off Hillary Duff a little bit more too. When you, you know, have, like, have some relationship that makes sense, and yeah. with the, and with the people they have, they have that opportunity. They really do. Uh, I know it's not yeah. that way now, but Sid and Valentina could could work out. You know what I'm saying? Like if if things shake up, those 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 people could possibly work out. You never know. Like you can change the way things are from now and and create mm-hmm. something a dynamic that might spark something but yeah. they need to do that soon you know like what's another good show uh big bang theory they had that immediately you knew leonard was going to chase after penny immediately they need that some yeah. type of connection like that yeah yeah i think they're trying to do that with so far now so with valentina and charlie you know, like, oh, they're the couple that love sex, but shouldn't be a couple like that weird thing. And, you know, and then Sid and Hannah are the married couple, but long distance, you know, and mm-hmm. 
it's it's uh, like even like he says like Valentina is came from Sophie and Sophie met this group by riding in an Uber with one of them you know and now they're all hanging out every day and then in episode three Sid gets a uh, sex device to do stuff with his yeah. wife and and she's like saying all these things I'm like you guys barely know each other and and you're telling him all the, your sex adventures you did and 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 him getting advice from her on like what do i do with my thing with this device and it was like like you guys barely know each other you know like i don't even know if i can get that deep <laughs> with somebody that i'm I, i've known my entire life because i mean you're like talking like you know i don't, I don't know you know yep. i agree that's exactly how I feel they, they need to make the yeah it has to they make, need to make the connection sense. make sense yeah, yeah. It has to make more sense. And that's why i'm saying like having that long distance relationship might not work unless you're bringing her into New York. And even then, that she's going to be the outsider now. It's just, mm-hmm. you know, it's going to be a lot of the different things. And I, they got to figure out a lot in seven episodes. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, I, 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 I like the characters. They, they need to figure. Like I like Ellen. You know, uh, I think she could have really funny stories about being. Uh, like uh, a, a lesbian from a small place where it was just her and her girlfriend were the only lesbians in that whole town to coming to New York where New York. it's very different. Yeah. yeah. So I like what they're doing with her. I feel like they, they need to go a little bit more with her. Charlie is kind of like the same thing where he's this rich guy. And now he's in New York. And like, I think the funny thing, like the one he's like, Oh, I learned not to open my mouth in the subway. Like that's funny. That was funny where the bum, gum, like the crazy guy, he's like, open your mouth. And then he puts his finger you know? like, it. was funny in the third episode where uh, he said the same thing there to, to Sophie. And she was like, not now. Not now. Like, yeah. like, you already knew. You know, like, so, that was funny. Yeah. So I was like, it, it has potential to be really good, I think. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. If Dan Levy's writing for him, I think it could get there because Dan Levy understands, like, like, like stuff like that, you know, like, you know, because like Shit's Creek is is oh my god, my my girlfriend watches it all the time, like that's her comfort show, like she watches it all the time, and I I've seen it like a good like three four times at this point, you know, um, that's so if he's wife, still writing, Bang, he's watched Big Bang Theory, he's probably watching Big yeah. Bang Theory right now as we're speaking right, right now, right. Now. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we got a comment. Sorry, I've been looking at comments. Oh, never mind. That was spam. Never mind. No. Um yeah. So so I'm I'm excited to see if they could do anything with it. I'm not expecting anything crazy from it. Um, but it's gonna have to survive. It has potential. If it yeah. survives the first season, then yeah. we'll see. Yeah. You know, they yeah. have yeah. good yeah. characters, they have good actors and actresses that I can see working. If they work on the character development a little bit more, mm-hmm. yeah, make them have yeah. better connections for enough, from other reasons. Yeah, I, I I think they need some some little um, ties to the old one, like the Jesse and 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 Sid. They're you know the best friends. Sid is. He's becoming a doctor, I think it was, or his, or is that his, just his wife? Oh, he's become a doctor too. Both of them are. Yeah, yeah, right. Because they they met in med school. That's right. Um, but he also owns a bar. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, are they gonna do it? Are they gonna do it? Because in in How I Met Your Mother, that was their thing between Ted and Barney is they wanted to open a bar and they wanted to call it Puzzles. So I was like, this bar's got to be called Puzzles. And it's not. And I'm like, that's such a missed opportunity. Like, that's like you know, angry. you know, because then you could have easily said like, oh, you know, we saw a drawing in the apartment because they live in the apartment where yep. where all the show was. So it's like they could have like, oh, hey, we saw a drawing in in the, the the fireplace, you know, of this like bar called Puzzles, and we were like, why is it called Puzzles? And then we realized because that's the puzzle. You could have easily tied that. That had nothing to do with any characters. To the bar they owned. I was like, I, to me, that was a missed opportunity. I was like, you need to do little things like that that brings the old How You Met Your Mother people and fans into this one. And yep. I, I, I thought, I was like, 
why wouldn't you do that? Why would you you own a bar? What? It <laughs> like, makes sense. And I mean, I mean, as you said, we think about we think about friends. What was the, the thing that kept it up? The, the coffee house. That was the biggest thing mm-hmm. there. I mean, those are things that you have to really hit right. You need to do it right. And I'm not sure they're going to do it right, but I'm interested to see. I'm 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 down for going to be in for the ride. I just hate investing for a season and then all of a sudden they're gone. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. Yeah, I think where uh where Sophie and Valentina their apartment, I think that is uh Tracy, which is Ted's adventure yep. eventually you know baby mama, um where she lived with a college student that uh that Ted dated who wind up being a lesbian at the end. I think that's their apartment. I think that's their apartment of of Tracy and what's her name. And I'm at the, watching the third episode. I'm like, is that is that you know? Like I I couldn't tell. I have to probably have to watch that episode again of uh of Ted in that apartment. But they have they have the ties. They, the things are there. You need to tie them together. You know, and it doesn't even mean anything. It doesn't have to be anything major. Just little Those references is all you need. You know. Yeah. Have yeah. Marshall. Marshall have his own like law office or something like that. You know, so, yeah. something well, he, as simple as that. He's a Supreme Court at this point, ain't he? Or some shit like that. Like he's like some big judge of like you. You have to hear his name on TV at some point, right? I mean, I was like, so yeah, oh. you know, well, we hope. or the yeah, so or just that Barney walk by the radio like. <laughs> That's that's asking for a lot. I because I don't know if any of the original cast are even gonna be part of it or if they're even asked to be part of it. I um, think it's gonna take some they have to be a lot better. If mm-hmm. if it gets to season two, then yeah, they might bring in something like what they bring in uh what's her name? Um I know Jennifer Morrison. What's her name? Uh Zoe. Oh Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> You know, something, yeah. like, something like that, you know, like another connection, like something that easy you could do. Yeah. Or the yeah. captain. The captain. I was going to say the captain, you know, or even the boats, 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 the commercial. Like, <laughs> like it's it's going to be the little things that is going to trigger the nostalgia of, mm-hmm. of How I Met Your Mother that's going to mean a lot, you know. Bring so, you in. Like, Bring those people in. Yeah, like they even when they went to the apartment, they're like, "Oh, we got it from these two old guys," you know, and they left their swords. I was like, "Oh, cool," you know, like yep. I thought that was interesting, you know. So also, I don't think they would ever leave their swords. Like what? Yeah, like, I was like, <laughs> no, that, that, no. That. <laughs> yeah, but but I mean, it, 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 I don't know. Maybe they're both like, "Oh, it's time to move on from the swords." I don't know, but yeah, no, no. yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, but it's definitely a later. You know, watch it whenever you get a chance. Yeah. I think. Um, and it, it could be coming now by the end of the season, but as of right now, whenever. We'll keep on looking whenever. at it, and we'll let you guys. You don't even have to watch it right now. We'll watch it for you, and we'll let you know. <laughs> and we'll let you know when to binge it. <laughs> when, guys, when should you? stop everything you're doing right now. Go to it.